Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm gonna be discussing a rivalry of modern judo history but it dates back to old or the mid-century uh, rivalry of Kimura versus Hiryo Gracie. So today I'm gonna talk about the rivalry of Hoyce and Hidehiko Yoshida. Hoyce obviously being the star of the 93 quote-unquote Gracie invasion and Hidehiko Yoshida was the 1992 Olympic champion in Barcelona, also world champion and world medalist and Asian Games uh, champion. So I'm not going to cover his uh, judo uh, career. Obviously, that's going to be for a judoka profile, maybe somewhere in the future. But in this uh, video, I'm going to discuss the background of this rivalry because they had two matches and history truly repeats itself. So uh, this video, I'm going to link in the description. Uh, the interview before the fight and after the fight of both Yoshida and Gracie. So uh, this fight happened, the first one happened in 2002. So the Japanese promoters uh, wanted to decide uh, or to stage a fight between uh, or to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the 1951 Kimura versus Gracie match in uh, Rio that happened in the Maracana Stadium. So. Uh, for the Gracie part, they they called Hoyce because, uh, sure, there was Hickson in 2002 after uh, Pancrates and all that stuff that happened in the 90s with Yuki Nakai and his clean record. However, Hoyce was far more recognized worldwide because of the UFC and what he did in the West, specifically in 1993. So, um, he is the first UFC champion defeating all sorts of cha uh, like quote-unquote champions from other disciplines so um, he was obviously the better choice for you know first of all Gracie name and also for marketing purposes because he was far more known than uh, Hickson so uh, and for the Japanese side it was obviously Hidehiko Yoshida former world champion and Olympic medalist he was still in good shape he was still in uh, in his prime somewhat and in the beginning of his MMA uh, career so the fight happened on August 28th 2002 uh, it was issued as a jiu-jitsu versus judo challenge so the, uh, the rules were decided by the Gracie family obviously it wasn't uh, an MMA uh, like rule set but rather it was trying to repeat the old uh, Kimura versus Gracie rules so it was minimal striking standing up uh, and also the fight ends to the ground there was no referee decision so uh, it ends either a draw or a submission so uh, the fight starts by the way i'm not gonna put the match i tried to put the match in their entirety so you can watch and listen at the same time but uh, obviously copyright claims are a big thing if you just go on youtube you can easily find them uh, in their entirety both matches so uh, I just mashed up some highlights so you can enjoy while you are listening. So, the match starts, uh, even though there was minimal striking while standing up, Hoyce immediately pulls guard and he tries to go for footlocks, single leg axes uh, and tries to really capitalize on his Newaza because uh, before the fight there was an interview where Yoshida states that he says, uh, they asked him, what is your impression about Hoyce? He says, he is taller than I thought. As far as Newaza, having long legs is an advantage for submissions or triangles. My legs are short. I felt he is a pro fighter. So, um, this is, uh, uh, this is why Hoyce obviously pulled guard because first he doesn't want to engage in any kumikata or uh, Nagewaza with an Olympic champion and world champion and from Hoyce's side he says that uh, the rules that he proposed uh, were the same rules but because um, he wanted uh, because he said that Yoshida it's his first NHB fight so I thought it would be better for him to go for like a judo versus a jiu-jitsu match uh, that's his reasoning behind the fight uh, the rules uh, for the fight so obviously uh, towards the end uh, I'm sure you've all seen the fight uh, Yoshida passes the guard tries to go for an arm lock but then decides to go for a Sode Guruma Jime which is a uh, Ezekiel choke in BJJ terminology 
Um, Hoyes goes entirely limp. Uh, the referee uh, sto gets in close to see what's up and then stops the fight and the Gracie corner gets outraged, almost starting a little brawl and getting a little bit physical with the referee. Um, this is not the first time that happens. If you saw Sakuraba and uh, Hoyler and Sakuraba versus Hanzo, same thing happened. But I do have to say this. Um, Ho uh, Hoyes was not defending whatsoever. His entire body was limp. Uh, as a referee, it's your duty and your responsibility to keep them uh, safe. Um, he was not uh, moving, basically. So... Uh, this is like uh, when uh, Henner Gracie said that Kato was not resisting and he was not tapping at the same time. So uh, Helio Gracie let go and won the match. And he, you know, uh, Henner Gracie says, You guys, my grandfather saved his life. So uh, as a referee, you do have an, a responsibility. If I see uh, like... The arm of Hanzo Gracie against Sakuraba in front of me, I stop the match immediately. Same thing with the choke because you risk dying basically. So people who say that it was an early stoppage uh, or anything, just look at Hoyce's body. It was completely limp and then uh, the Gracie corner apologized to the referee and then they looked closely to uh, the footage afterwards and they realized that Hoyce was indeed not moving. So it was a very uh, right stoppage. Now, fast forward a year later in 2003, uh, it was Pride 2003, and Hoyce wanted a rematch. So, uh, the rematch was two months after Yoshida's fight against Wanderlei, so he was still carrying the injury from the fight, and uh, Hoyce not only wanted his rematch, but also uh, he refused to put on the gi jacket so he wanted to go in with a, a clear advantage obviously this is like the hoiler uh, against eddie bravo with the gi pants now eddie bravo changed his mind but they had lawyers against him he couldn't change his mind so it's a bit weird uh, but uh, let me just say this uh, in my opinion for hoist to go in without the jacket is in poor taste in my opinion and there's no sportsmanship i i'd rather lose doing everything i can uh, with fair rules rather than uh, having the Machiavellian mindset to win in any means necessary. So taking off your jacket, uh, it, it's not good, at least in my opinion. So uh, now let's talk about the anniversary. The anniversary, same thing happened. The uh, judo side won, uh, won by submission. Uh, he got him he got on top he passed his guard so history did repeat itself but when it came to the rematch uh hoist was a bit more dominant he took the back eventually to, towards the last seconds uh yoshida turtled and hoist started to strike uh, endlessly maybe wanting to uh, maybe wanting the knockout so uh, it was different rules after that it wasn't like the first one so but the timer went off and it basically ended in a draw but uh, the domination of Hoyce clearly showed on his face after the fight ended uh, he left or he was like relieved as if he won uh, the fight so uh, that's basically the story it was it was coming off of a very old tradition the Gracie versus Kimura fight which I myself proposed uh, a competition based on it a team of judo versus a team of jiu-jitsu with rule set that benefits both maybe two ippons can win you the match and also a uh, a submission can win you the match and you know it can go either way a team of judo men versus men and women versus women but that's another video so uh that's basically the story it was a revival of old tradition so if you have anything else to add uh let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon uh, that would mean a lot to me and also I have uh, specific content and exclusive content for the patrons uh, only uh, I post there maybe twice a month for the patrons so if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was Shadi and thank you for listening